this room, but I think we can all agree that we're not very keen on December elections. Uh, we're absolutely freezing. And I really want to thank the returning officer, Yvonne, and the amazing staff that are here tonight for your efforts in, in, in these circumstances. <laughs> I also recognise that in Bristol South we've got hard-working councillors, not just from the Labour Party, but from the Conservative Party, the Liberal Democrats and the Green Party. And I know that people from across the political spectrum have entrusted me with their votes in this election today, and I am very much respectful of that. I'd like to thank all the candidates for the civility with which this cam campaign here in Bristol South has been conducted, and wish you all well in your future. I will continue to work hard on behalf of everyone in Bristol South, as I have sought to do in the last four and a half years, however they voted, to secure the change that people here in Bristol South have voted for. Later on today, I'll be back to work as the Member of Parliament, continuing the campaigns that I have run in the last four and a half years, supporting local people on trailer safety, on safety of air guns, as well as my ongoing focus on post-16 education and quality apprenticeships for people here. Accountability in our NHS and improving services at South Bristol Hospital and housing particularly for the young and older people who desperately need it. My own personal campaigns, I want to see a law changed to allow people to die with dignity in the way that they, they choose. And I will also continue to use my experience and understanding of relationships across Britain and Ireland to improve relationships across these islands in the next few years. Because I know from the last four and a half years how much people here wanted us to win and form a Labour government. The hope and passion across Bristol South was and is palpable across the whole constituency for something different. Now I'm obviously really disappointed and saddened tonight that Labour is not going to form a government. We had a plan to reinvest in our schools, the NHS, and build a more green and sustainable economy. But we haven't gained the trust of people across the country. Since 1935, people here in Bristol South have wanted a Labour government and have supported a Labour MP to make that happen. It's the only seat outside of London that has consistently voted Labour in the South of England. But for two thirds of this time, Labour has been in opposition. That limits what we can achieve, and it does not give the voters of Bristol South the progressive government that they have sought. And we are in for a very hard five years. I will continue to speak up for the people in Bristol South on the regional and national stage. And I will work hard. It's incumbent on me and my colleagues who have been returned to Parliament to make sure that the Labour Party is able to secure the trust of people across this country in line with the wishes of people here in Bristol South. Thank you. Thank you.